how oh just in terms of like the overall vibe right now in with all the familiar faces that you guys have back this year can you feel a difference in just chemistry cohesion with you know familiarity that you most of you have together can you see it from watching this a little bit yeah right? yeah, yeah i think it's going well uh it's not something we obviously talk about or notice, but just watching the film, it's like, you know, I know it's early in the season and things could change, but I think I think we look pretty good. But uh, just want to keep building on that and uh, keep it going, really. What feels, what can, what kind of feels most different in that way, or what? how do you pick that up? What, what do you see it the most? Um, I'm seeing guys play hard for each other. We're playing together. We're sharing the ball. Guys are happy for one another. I'm not even looking at all the technical stuff. Like, you know, that'll come as the season goes. But, like, you know, those are just things that, you know, I've been on really good teams, and those are the things really good teams do. So, um, you know, we're checking all those boxes, so that's, that's, that's good to know, good to be a part of them. Really. How has playing with the glasses been? Uh, it's been cool. It's, uh, you know, I wish it was different. I wish I didn't have to wear any glasses, but uh, it's fine. It hasn't bothered me. It, it, it bothered me, like, early when I had to, you know, start with them, but uh, it's not a problem now. Mm -hmm. You were playing really well with Rudy all last year. Have you noticed that people have begun to learn a little bit more how to play with him? Yeah. It's, uh, wait, people on our team? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's not hard. You know, you get to the rim and throw it up, he'll be there. So uh, I think guys are picking, um, you know, figuring out how to weaponize him on offense. And, uh, you know, you get to the rim and you have nothing, you can just, you know, leave it up there for him and he'll go get it. So it's pretty easy. And on defense, do you have a pretty set idea of what he wants to do and what he doesn't want to do in terms of when you give him your man and when you don't? Who's that, Rudy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, he's, he's back there protecting us. So, uh, you know, you, I kind of got the feel from last year on, you know, when I want to send my guy to him or when, I want, when he wants us to pursue and things like that. So, uh, you know, this, these last week or two has just been brushing up on it, but we kind of figured it out last year. Yeah, Mike is the same, man. He's, you know, someone I watch every day and just watch how he goes about his business and how he conducts himself. So that was the same thing in Memphis. And that was the same thing in Memphis. You know, I really took, you know, heed to everything that he did on and off the court. So uh, just really a great guy, great teammate, great person. You gotta love Mike Conley. Do you have to be, like when you're out there next to two bigs, mm -hmm. do you have to be cognizant when you're out there of like, this is the way we have to play for this lineup to succeed right now? Uh, yeah, um, it's different from when I'm out there uh, at the four, but uh, I think Cat has guard skills though. So I think when I'm out there with Cat or Nas at the four, then, you know, it, it's kind of similar to me playing the four. They're just taller than me. But, uh, do you have to like, how, how can you go about making sure you're controlling tempo so that you're not out there like losing a track? Yeah. Um, going to defensive rebound, so you know I do have the ball in my hands and I can make decisions. I think I got to be ready to shoot the ball um, when I'm in there with the two big lineup, and uh, you know just figure out spacing, kind of watch Cat if he's in the post, kind of be on that perimeter, ready to shoot, ready to make decisions. If he goes inside, uh, you know maybe playing the dunker or things like that. Just, just still got to figure out playing with two bigs. I think it'll come as you know we, we rep minutes in the game. It's, it's easy to do it out here, but you know we gotta wait till that season comes. What are the ways that you guys can be a better rebounding team? Um, I think everybody making a conscious effort. Um, you know, obviously Rudy and Cat do a great job of getting on the glass, but uh, I think the guard. I think we had a stat where like you know we weren't as good as coming up with 50-50 balls on the perimeter. So maybe the guards we have to do a better job of keeping in mind that you know we gotta come back and get the rebound before we just go on offense. So. Uh, me, myself, I got to get better at rebounding as well. You ever played with a lineup as big as that Rudy and Nas and you and Shake and Troy lineup? Uh, I've two. played with two bigs before, like, you know. That's big, like, to the guards. Yeah, yeah, those are, three. those are big guards, too. Um, no, nah, no, nah, now that you put it that way, I haven't. Um, yeah, that, that's a big lineup right there, and that would be pretty interesting to throw out there. Uh, and like, there's different iterations too. Like, right. I mean, it doesn't get smaller if you have Ant out there yeah, or Jaden. Or like, yeah. I mean, that that seems like something that you guys can present uniquely in the NBA. Definitely, definitely. Um, and I think we have to check all the boxes and do all the things that come with it. Still play fast. Still play at our pace. And then on defense, you know, just really take pride in it and hang our hat there. One of the things that. Finch wants to put in structurally is to create spacing on offense. Mm -hmm. With you at the nail oftentimes as a playmaker, does that affect how you 
perform in terms of spacing where you are? Um, no, uh, I think it just comes down to me being ready to shoot to keep the defense honest. Um, and then, you know, we have great shooters out there. So when I do have to, you know, get inside and make a play, I think our guys are, you know, ready to space and kicking it out to them. And, you know, I got confidence in, you know, a lot of guys that we kick it out to on this team. So, um, like I said, I'm not going to say it's, I'm not going to sit up here and say it's going to be easy, but we'll figure it out. How do you turn size into an advantage where last year at times it felt like a lot of um, I think we got to do a better job, and Finchie's been preaching to us of getting on the offensive glass. Um, like, it's weird to hear. I come from Coach Pop, where he used to be like, we better be last in rebound, <laughs> offensive rebound. And like, he wanted us to get back. And Finchie did last year, too. But like you said, with our size, and you know, you got 6'10 Jaden at the three, or you know, however tall he is, like, you know, you got to be able to hurt teams on the offensive glass. Is structure most important late in games? Like almost like it's like a thing to combat human nature sometimes? Structure. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I think it is. I'm a coach's kid, so I think it is. Um, I think uh, I think guys being on the same page. Like I hate to keep reverting back to the Spurs, but like, you know, at the end of games, I would watch Timmy, Tony, and Manu and Pop when they have to say them. Them three was just on the same page, you know? So I think we have that, we have that chance to have that type of chemistry where, you know, whether it's, you know, and Kat and Rudy are on the same page and, 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 and converting down the stretch or Jaden and Ant and Mike or whatever three it is, you know, being able to be on the same page and know what we want to get at the end of games. Does structure can maybe breed that and then it comes more naturally with time? Or Excuse me, say that again? structure kind of breed that and then it comes more naturally with time? Definitely. And I think there are conversations to be had off the court as well, going into it, being prepared for it, and then just going out there and executing. Thank you. Yeah, thank Thanks you guys. Yep, thank you.